Don't leave me in all this pain. Don't leave me out in the rain. Bring back the nights when I held you beside me. And break my heart. Dumelambo masaeve varmini mifukile. I hope you fukile. <laughs> this week I am in the Volvo XC40 Twin Motor Recharge. A fully, fully, fully electric vehicle with a lot, a lot of capabilities. So I'm here. Ow, brother man. Eh, this guy. My sister. Yo. Impulates robot. Impulates. Joburg. Joburg drivers. Anyway, it has a lot of capabilities. And <laughs> it has a lot of capabilities and i can't wait to tell you guys about it on the outside inside and yeah let's get so, into volvo it. like let's get into the exterior volvo's exteriors are very similar right it's a very sophisticated and a very mature design you know you have the thor's hammer headlamps with the leds that look like a bit of a hammer that's why they're called thor's hammer and i think they look really really cool even at night when they illuminate and when you turn on the car they just brighten up the car and make it look very very nice you know you have this very gorgeous nardo gray-esque kind of color going on and i think it's beautiful the front grille is blocked out because you know with conventional um combustion engines you need the grill for cooling to cool the engine bay here because there's a whole lot of battery packs you don't need it so that's why a lot of um electric cars the front grille is blacked out usually it's a plastic um sort of uh thing material like thing on the grill because there's no need for cooling in terms of where the batteries is being the twin motor means that it is just that twin motor there is a single motor one that i think has less power but we'll get into that a bit later in terms of the aesthetics and the look of the car i think it looks very beautiful it's sitting on these large 20 inch wheels with this gorgeous 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 windmill kind of rim you know the rear is also nice you have the twin motor badge there the xc40 badge and the volvo badge just slotted across the boot lid you have an electric tailgate also so on the exterior it's very nice the roof rail with the contrasting black roof the black gloss roof um so in terms of the exterior i think it's a very cute and compact looking car and the xc40 has always been a car that i think is one of the cutest um small premium suvs that you can find on the market right now let's move on to the interior so the interior is also a very nice place to be the materials used in here are all recycled right so um it's adding on to the eco-friendliness of the brand and where they want to go and obviously in terms of the fact that this is a new energy vehicle an nev like an electric vehicle obviously uh, preserving the environment and conserving the environment is of paramount importance to Volvo so a lot of the materials used in here are recycled the seats are recycled and they actually feel quite comfortable for uh, you know it's not leather it's like a cloth material but they're actually quite comfortable it's quite nice and I love the fact that they are also grey inside like actually do like it <laughs> it looks very nice with the car you also have a black roof lining you have a large panoramic sunroof you know that's very beautiful you have your harman kardon sound system you have a multi-function steering wheel and you have your infotainment system screen where everything everything your climate control menus are on the infotainment system screen i find it to be a bit hacking but it's okay we can live with it you have heated seats you have a heated steering you also have heated seats at the back for back occupants you also have isofix for the kiddies so it's, it's it's a very comprehensive interior and for a car of its size it's a very small little car i think it's quite spacious and would work very very well for a small family so i really do like the feel of the interior and what i love about volvo's interior is that they're so simple you are paying a lot of money but this simplicity they cleanly laid out it as a mofirfir man as a tlhakang tshuke we thinking as a manyeng yo so kamo it's just very clean and it's very calming to enter you know like it's just such a it's a serene kind of interior if you guys get what i mean right so I really do think that in terms of the interior, I like it. You have a wireless charging bay. You have two USB-C ports up front. And I think my favorite part of this car is definitely this glass crystal gear lever. And yeah, I think that is absolutely one of the nicest parts about this car. So in terms of the interior, it's well kitted. You have memory seats, electric seats, you know, um, it's a very, very nice interior. You even have a little dustbin like which cars give you dust that is just definitely a car or a brand that's interested in preserving the environment there's a dustbin <laughs> so i think that's really really cool hey another volvo so i think that's a very cool interior yeah let's move on to the drive of 
the vehicle. If you have made it to the drive of the vehicle, I hope you guys are enjoying this review. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And like DJ Bong's always said, support local YouTube. It's the right thing to do. He's very much right. So shout out to, to Mr. How Much. <laughs> I just had to do a bit of a shout out there. But anyway, let's get into the drive of the vehicle. This vehicle is powered by a 78 kilowatt hour battery that produces 300 kilowatts and 670 newton meters of torque. That is literally RS3 numbers because the RS3 does 294 kilowatts. Imagine that in a form of an electric vehicle. It is potent. It does 0 to 100 in 4.8 seconds. I would do 0 to 100 if I wasn't on um, the Greyston traffic. It's, 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 I'm, on the, I'm on the M1 now. So the traffic is quite mad. So just slow pace, slow pace, slow pace. But in any way, when I've been driving this car for the past few days, I find it to be very engaging to drive. It's a very nice uh, electric vehicle. I feel like all electric vehicles are the same, but you can kind of distinguish between one and the other. I feel like Volvo's one are quite nice to drive. It's a very quiet and serene drive, very little road noise, great noise insulation, can't hear much of what's happening outside. And I think it's, 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 it's a very enjoyable and pleasant drive. On a full charge, you can get up to 500 kilometers of range. I'm currently on 58%, so I have 260 kilometers of range. I am currently going to Mall of Africa to use the DC charger when i charged it on sunday i used a charger by the head office yeah bmw in midrand and that from i think we were on a very low percentage i think 20 percent for us to get to 80 percent took us just two hours which i think is actually very commendable um so in terms of charging and finding charging spots yes in terms of where i stay there's, it's very hard to find uh, public charging spots, but once you move into the Midrand Santon area, it's a lot easier. And if you find a DC charger, then shame, man, you're good to go. So in terms of the drive, I think it's a very nice drive. It's a very nice car to have on a daily. Um, and I think that in terms of the quietness in here, like it's just such a serene car. I love it. It's so peaceful in here. Um, so yeah, let's get into the verdict. I always associate Volvo with a more mature audience. I mean, the design of their cars is very older. You know, we always have a joke that if a guy hits on you and he drives a volvo um hundred percent of the time he is not single a man who hits on you and it's a volvo is a very responsible father of three so <laughs> it's a car or a brand that's very much for very like that demographic right but i think the xc40 is trying to appeal to a more youthful group um maybe younger people young moms young dads young families you know and i think it works very well in that uh, element and the fact that it's electrified now will also be uh, to to the brand's advantage so in terms of the design overall i think it looks good looks very youthful quirky very unorthodox cool design um and in terms of what the product is like it's actually one of the nicest evs i've had on test this year i've driven quite a few i mean i had um the eqa eqb ix3 eqe43 you know so i've had a quite a, quite a lot of merc ones and i think the volvo uh, evs are kind of like the laparas of evs right so a lot of the brands have this thing of going when they go electric they put it in your face there's a lot of bells and whistles and trinkets and it's just this crazy thing it's like those guys so some of those brands some brands always do this very obnoxious ott kind of way of electrification and then it's just like oh, okay cool we see you then volvo comes in in a very subtle and a very not mundane but a very subtle and uh, unsuspecting manner you know those are the guys that they come into the groove spot you know they get their bottle of glen or they get their hennessy they get their beers i don't know if this analogy works i think it works i think you guys will get what i'm trying to say it's very unsuspecting um because i didn't think a volvo ev would be this nice because i'm just like ah volvo ev probably boring it's very nice it's very it blends in nicely it's it's it's, it's serene it's comfortable it's practical it's cute it's it's not there's not much fuss and frill and that's why i think volvo and bmw in terms of electrification they have it on lock because they keep a lot of the elements of their combustion engine vehicles they're full-on ice vehicles um, they keep a lot of elements of it. So there's not much like They keep it very simple and just add um, electrification and new energy and it works so well for them So this vehicle is actually a vehicle that I think is 
really 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 nice to have on a daily you know the range like i said earlier you can get 500 kilometers of range on a full charge and i think that will kind of get you quite far i've charged twice since i've gotten this car and i think it's really really nice um and yeah i mean if we're on a dc charger you're looking at taking about um how long about two hours to charge to full um so yeah i think volvo actually in terms of um new energy and moving into electric um product like production of electric vehicles i think they've gotten it right i think this is a very nice car i'm highly impressed there's very little to fault this volvo on i mean door bins are spacious it's very comfortable you have ample connectivity space you have a wireless charging bay sunroof you have harman kardon you have harman kardon you're a winner in my eyes if you have harman kardon so i think this car is actually one car that you guys should look out for in terms of rivals i would say that it rivals bmw ix1 mercedes-benz eqa and yeah i think it rivals there and in terms of pricing for this specific unit you're looking at paying 1.2 million rand so in exact figures is 1 million 280 rand um so just around 1.3 million and i think that can get you a bigger car the bmw ix3 so in terms of that electric vibe i know electric cars are quite expensive a lot of them are north of a million rand especially if you want ones with good range um they are north of a million rand but sometimes they are worth it and when it comes to charging i think i've said this on my channel all the time you guys just need to plan you need to plan the way we plan for stage six load shedding and charge our devices before the six to the six to 12 p.m slot or the six to 10 p.m slot it's the same with these cars you just have to plan and make sure that you have a grid at home at least a charging block at home or you live close to public charges so it's just the whole planning kind of thing so i've gotten used to electric cars and they don't frustrate me as much as before although we are in stage six load shedding is this a bit scary because some of these charging pots um if electricity goes out then they don't work so they're not on independent power supply so that is a bit of a disadvantage but it takes planning and i'm still surviving for now so ultimately i really think volvo has done extremely well with this vehicle it's beautiful it's quite faultless and i think it would be a very nice car to buy if you have a small family you want to do the school run maybe the grocery run go to work it yields enough range it looks good it's very simply laid out and i think a lot of people especially myself i would like it so yeah guys that's it from me thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe please do let me know what you would get with the 1.3 million rand cash prize <laughs> if you had 1.3 million rand which electric car are you going for are you going for this are you going for the bmw ix1 or are you going for the mercedes-benz eqa so please do let me know in the comments and yeah guys um yeah thanks for watching <laughs> i just uh i'm super tired guys i think i'm a bit fatigued from the year it's been a long one it's been a long one but we keep it moving and we keep going yeah yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe get all my love bye bye <laughs>